Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the drive in the main SATA bay of the late 2012 through late 2015 21.5-inch iMac models. Replacing the drive in these iMacs is an advanced installation with a risk of damage to your screen. It's highly recommended that you watch this video in its entirety before proceeding. If you're unsure about completing this installation yourself, professional installation is available. We've already backed up our data, gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The display on the iMac is held in place with an adhesive around the edges which you'll have to cut apart. This is a tricky process which runs the risk of cracking the display, so you'll need to be very careful. Starting on one of the lower corners, insert the screen removal tool between the glass and the chassis. Work along all the edges of the iMac, taking care not to push out on the glass. All we're doing is cutting the tape holding the display on, not prying the glass away. The process may take a little bit, and you may need to go over sections multiple times, so be patient. The corners may be a little tricky. Make sure the tool is right up against the chassis to make sure all the tape is cut. When near the camera, you may feel some bumps as the tape is thin here, so take care not to damage the camera itself. Continue around the iMac until you reach the other side. You may now lay the iMac face up on your work surface and attach the suction cups to the upper corners. Do one last check to make sure you've loosened all the adhesive around the edges of the iMac. Then lift the glass part way up using the suction cups. Inside near the top, you'll need to detach two cables. For the first, simply slide it out of its socket by its tabs. For the second cable, first lift up on this plastic tab to unlock the connection. Then slide the connector out. You can then angle the display the rest of the way up and remove the adhesive holding the bottom of the display. Simply grab the tab on each side of the screen and slowly pull it towards the center until it comes free. You should be able to remove the display and set it aside. The hard drive is located here. To remove the hard drive, we first need to remove these retainers. The retainer near the speaker has two screws that are the same size. The retainer next to the fan has two different size screws. You can then lift the drive out of the bay, detach the SATA cables from the drive, and remove it from the iMac. We can install any 2.5 inch SATA drive, whether it's platter based or an SSD. For this installation, we're going to use a platter based drive. If you're installing a 7mm drive, you'll likely need to add a spacer so the drive fits snugly. This spacer is usually included with most quality SSDs. We'll need to transfer the rubber sleeve from the original drive to the new one. Simply peel the sides of the sleeve away from the drive and slide the end caps off. Then, insert the new drive into one of the end caps and slide the other cap over the opposite end. Gently squeeze the sides to attach them to the new drive. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow them to stick. The new drive is now ready to be installed in the iMac. Attach the SATA cables to the new drive then set the drive itself into the bay. Place the drive retainer with the even edges into place and secure it with the two medium sized screws.
Then do the same with the other side. The side over the power board takes the long screw and the smallest screw goes in the remaining hole. Now it's time to replace the adhesive that holds the display to the iMac. First, peel up any of the original adhesive remaining on the iMac. Then do the same on the display itself. Along the top edge though, you'll want to start in the middle of each side so that you don't accidentally peel off the sealing tape on the display itself. Next, we need to put the display tape pieces in place, following the placement instructions on the sheet that came with your kit. The piece numbers will follow clockwise from the upper left corner. Peel off the backing of each piece and set it in place using some small screwdrivers or other thin tool to align the holes in the tape with the holes in the iMac frame. Once you have all the pieces set, you can then peel off the backing on the other side to expose the adhesive that will attach the display. Set the display along the bottom edge, as flush with the lip and as centered as possible, but don't let it close yet as we need to reconnect the video cables. Reattach the lower cable by sliding the connector into its socket and locking it into place with the handle. Then simply slide the last connector into its socket. You can now carefully lower the display into place, making sure you have the edges lined up correctly. Gently squeeze along the edges to make sure the adhesive sticks. You can now remove the suction cups. Then use the microfiber cloth to remove any fingerprints or suction cup marks. 